Ariel. Welcome to Yoga Between Two Ferns here in Lucadia, San Diego, California. I hope you're staying home. I hope you're finding fun ways to occupy your time. And I'm glad that I could be part of that. What up, Gaylord? Awesome. Hey, Ryan. Cool. <laughs> So um, for our practice today, you might want a strap or a towel will work. So if you need some help binding your hands behind your back like this, go ahead and take a moment to grab a towel or strap. And we're also going to start in child's pose. So if you like a pillow underneath your forehead or your chest or underneath your hips, you can do that. Hey, Tanya. So um, we'll do a slow build up to our practice today. And we'll start in the child's pose when you're ready. We'll stick to an hour, do our best. So uh, go ahead and make your way into your child's pose. Sit on your shins, bring your hips back onto your heels, make your big toes touch and widen through your knees. And then you can grab that bolster or pillow if you like, put it underneath your tummy, put it underneath your hips if you like. And just take a moment to breathe. You can rest your head on your hands, or you can stack your fists, anything you like. My intention for this practice is just to create an opportunity to refill your cup, to rebuild your energy, to refuel your body. And it all starts with that breath. Listen to your breath as it deepens. Let it expand in all directions. Sitting in your child's pose, bowing your forehead towards the floor, just let the earth take away any concerns or worries, any distractions that might have followed you into your practice. Let it melt away. You can breathe in this intention of finding more prana, more energy, or maybe there's something else calling to you. Whatever your purpose is, you get to choose. Just make it up. Give it a word or two, a mantra, something that you can come back to. Hey, Scott, hey, Dina. Let's take another few breaths here. Letting go of that which doesn't serve you. Another deep breath in. And on your exhale, simply stretch through your arms a little longer. Stretch the sides of your waist. Reach, reach, reach. And as you breathe in, begin to lift your hips up off your heels. Keep your big toes touching as you shift more weight into your hands. Sink the front of your waistband towards the floor as your toes lift up towards the sky, towards the back of your head. Look up. Then return to child's pose. Exhale, bringing your hips backwards towards your heels. Relax your forehead on the floor. We'll do that a few more times. Inhale, rise up. Shift more weight into your hands. Sink your hips towards the earth and lift your toes up towards the back of your head. Exhale, slowly bring the hips back onto the heels, forehead to the floor. Two more. Just go to your range, whatever allows you to breathe. Hey, Charlie, sink your hips, look up. Exhale, bringing the hips back to the heels, forehead to the floor. One more time. Inhale, rising up onto hands and knees. Creating that arch in your back body, look up. 
exhale, pressing your hips back towards your heels, rounding through your spine. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Now come on to your hands and your knees for a moment by that tabletop. And tuck your left toes under so you can press back through your left heel and just pulse that left heel forward and back a few times. And then we'll spin the left heel towards the floor so you can ground through the whole bottom of your left foot as you lift your left arm up towards the ceiling. Modified side plank. Go ahead and tuck your right toes under for more support. Now as you inhale, extend your left arm alongside your ear and look up. Bring your chin towards your left bicep. And then exhale, bring your left hand down by your side body and look down towards your right. This is a bit of neck and shoulder therapy, so we'll do that again. Inhale as you swoop your left arm up over your ear, look up. Exhale, a half circle, left arm down by your side body, look towards the floor. Three more, inhale, fly, left arm high overhead, palm faces the floor once it reaches. And then exhale, palm faces forward and then to the thigh as you look down. Two more of these. Feel strong and steady through your extended left leg. Look up. Exhale. Spiral that left palm back down by your side. Last one. Inhale. Left arm up by your ear. Now exhale. Left arm by your side body. Stay like that with your arm. You can look down at your right hand. Have it under your shoulder or a little in front of your shoulder. Tuck the right toes and then start to float your left foot off the ground. Strong in that left quad, turn on the glute, lengthen through the tail. Option here to bend your left knee and reach for your foot so you can give your left quadricep a stretch. Think about pulling your heel into your seat and lengthen your tailbone towards your floating left knee. Option to look up over your left shoulder here. And imagine the right hand can push the floor down into the right. Now, if you're in the bind, let it go. Extend your left arm to the sky, reach your left foot back behind you. And then thread the needle. Bring your left knee to the ground alongside the right knee and swing your left arm underneath your right arm. Rest the left side of your head down on the ground and then walk your right hand towards the top of your mat. Option to stay like that or create a half bind. Right arm across in your lower back. Weave your right fingertips towards your inner left thigh or close enough. Now, the reason why I want you to have space on the side of your mat is so you can extend your right leg out to the right, so your right foot and your left hand might make contact, like a kickstand for your bike. Ground into the outer edge of that right foot, and then see if you can lean back a little more so your shoulder blades come to the floor. One more breath. And keeping your right leg extended out to the right, unwrap your bind, take your hands to the floor underneath your shoulders like tabletop. Keep your right leg extended to the right. Just look up like you're doing cow pose. Now tuck your left toes, lift your left knee off the floor, come into an asymmetrical downward facing dog. Press your chest back, broaden through your inner thighs, your sitting bones. Getting off the grid a little bit. Take two more breaths. Now look at your hands. You can shift a little more weight into your hands. Do a fan kick with your right leg. Use your abductor to lift your right leg up and around. Three-legged dog. Bend your right knee. Open up your hips. And I'll take a few more breaths here. So draw some circles with that right knee. Circling the ankle, perhaps. Just keep the shoulders level. One more breath. Now extend your right leg long. Three-legged dog. Breathe in. Exhale, step forward with your right foot. Place it on the mat between your thumbs and relax your left knee down onto the floor. Now, if you have blocks, you're welcome to grab them. You can just have your fingertips on the mat. We're going to keep the head down here for a few breaths. As you look down, notice your right ankle underneath your right knee. Watch your right toes as they spread wide. And imagine you could pull the floor back with your right foot. Now, drive that left hip forward and down. Breathing into the left hip flexor. Okay, now keep that energy in your legs. Inhale as you rise up with arms overhead. Lengthen through your tailbone. Lift the front of your waistband. Now place your left hand on your upper back. Give your left arm a tricep stretch. Hold onto your left elbow with your right hand. Weave your left elbow behind your head. 
Lift your chin so you can press up into that elbow. And then go slow as you lean towards the right. Keep grounding into your right big toe. Activate your inner thighs. Feel the back foot, your left toenail smearing into the mat for more support. Get one more breath here into the psoas. And inhale, unwind, reach your arms up by your ears. Half splits, exhale, hands to the earth. Shift your hips back, lengthen through your right leg. Now if you have those blocks, you can bring them with you. Lift your right toes up towards your nose, but press the ball mount of your right foot forward. Feel free to bend your right knee. Lift through your right sitting bone either way, and then lead with your heart as you dive in, right cheek inside the shin. One more deep breath in. Exhale. Now extend long through your arms. Weave your right leg through your arms and then bring your right leg behind you. Do that pulse with your right heel, going back and forth a few times. Your left knee is on the mat underneath your left hip. Both hands down for now. I'm going to spin around so I can see it. Now spin your right heel to the floor for that modified side plank. The right arm up over your head. Relax your shoulders back. Hug your lower ribs in. Lengthen through your tail. Now bring your right arm alongside your ear. Look up. Bring your chin as close to your right bicep as you can. And then exhale, bring your right arm down by your side body as you look down towards the ground. Four more of those. Inhale, swoop your right arm up over your head, look up. Like a rainbow, swoop your right arm down by your leg, look down. Inhale, reaching neck and shoulder therapy for three. Exhale, hand by your side, chin towards the earth. Last two. Notice if you're using that left index finger knuckle. Try to push that knuckle into the floor, right where your index finger turns into the hand. We got one more to go. Inhale, arm lifts. Exhale, arm by your side. Now keep looking down. Visually check the left hand under the shoulder or a little in front of, and then start to lift your right foot off the floor. Remember, tucking the left toes gives you a little more support. That right arm on your thigh can just help you find the alignment or bend your right knee, reach back for your ankle or your foot. Breathe into the front of your right thigh, your quadricep. Lengthen your tailbone towards your floating knee. Feel your shoulder squeeze and then look over your right shoulder for three, two, one. Coming back to the modified side plank, right arm to the sky, float your right foot behind you, take a breath in. And exhale, weave, right arm under left arm, both knees land on the ground for now, threading the needle. Your left arm is reaching forward, your right hand's reaching through, and your left foot is gonna try to find your right hand. And you can actually make contact, you can hold on to the foot or the big toe, and then add the half bind, left arm across the lower back, feeding your fingers into the inner right thigh. Or you can try to keep that left arm long, just think about getting more of your shoulder blades to the floor. Ground into the outer edge of your left foot. Put it on the mat like a kickstand. So you can lean to the left with your upper half while your lower half roots to the right. One more breath. Again, unwrap your left hand. Keep your left leg extended to the side. Both hands on the mat under your shoulders. Do a cow shape in the spine. Lift your chin, breathe in. Then tuck the right toes. Here's that funky downward dog. Lift your hips, press your chest back. Drop your head. Kind of like a proserita feeling. Widen the heels. Spiral your inner thighs back. Proserita is wide-legged forward fold. And then look at your hands. Shift a little more weight into your palms so you can fan kick that left leg up and open. Three-legged dog with a bent left knee. Open up the hips. Add a knee circle or an ankle circle if you wish. Now we extend your left leg nice and long. Step your left foot forward between your thumbs. Bring your back knee to the mat. Head down, hands down, Anjaneyasana. Watch your left toes spread wide. Feel your left heel pierce into the floor. Pull the floor back, feel your left hamstring activate. All five of your right toenails on the floor as you 
snuggle that right hip forward and down. And then we'll bring the arms up over the head on the next in breath. Relax your shoulders back and down. Now your right arm gets a tricep stretch. Place your right hand on your upper back. Hold on to your right elbow with your left hand. Leave your right elbow behind your head. Lift your head and then lean to the left. Inhale, re-extend your arms back up. Exhale, hands to the earth, shift your hips back for your half splits. The right knee stays on the ground, stack it underneath your right hip. Watch the left toes press forward. Watch the left knee rise up, turn on the quad, adding a little bit of a bend. And you can isometrically pull the floor back with that left heel, and then dive in. Where your attention goes, energy flows. And with this intention of harnessing our energy, be careful where you focus your attention, where you need it the most. With that left hamstring, take your breath there one more. Now create length through your arms, breathe in. Weave your left leg through your arms, tuck your left toes behind you with your left leg long, hands on the mat, and then tuck the right toes under, lengthen through the right leg, high plank pose, five breaths. Always focusing on your foundation first, spread through your fingers, create a big base. Ground into the ball mounds of your hands the most, rather than the heels of your palms, that's how we protect our wrists. And then dome the upper back from there, hug the belly button in. Lengthen through your tail, squeeze your knees. Take one more inhale. Downward dog, exhale, lift your hips, relax your heels. Two more breaths. Last breath. Inhale, lift your heels, look up at your hands. Exhale, bend your knees a lot, and then walk or hop to the top of your mat. Have your feet hips width apart. Extend your spine halfway up, parallel to the floor, hands to the shins. And then fold forward, bend your knees a little bit. Find your hands behind your back, right by the sacrum. Interlace your fingers there, or this is where you can grab that towel and hold it between your hands. And then start to extend your arms up and over your head. Keep that bend in your legs. Breathe into the space between your shoulder blades. Now let the hands travel towards the floor. Keep the bend in your knees, then reach your hands forward in front of your shoulders. Keep the bend in your knees, sit back a little deeper, chair pose, Utkatasana. Shift more weight into your heels, move your hips back, lift the front of your waistband, bend your knees a little deeper, take one last breath. And inhale, rise up, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, relax your arms by your sides. Just pause for a moment, close your eyes. Take a few breaths. Remember your intention. Embody it here. Take one more, full out. Exhale, everything out. Inhale, extend your arms wide to the sides. Look up at your hands. Exhale, do swan dive into forward fold. Uttanasana, chin to chest, the very end of your out breath. Now lengthen through your spine, halfway lift, hands to the shins. Exhale, plant your palms, step your right foot behind you and lower your right knee to the ground. 
Inhale, lift your arms up over your head, coming into low lunge just for one breath in. Exhale, take your hands to your mat. Bring your left knee back next to your right knee, and then find that modified plank pose, shoulders over wrists, breathe in, lengthen your tailbone. Exhale, bend your elbows, lower your torso to the floor. And then lengthen through the tail, just a baby cobra. Keep your hips down as you lift your ribs. Okay, pressing onto your knees, tuck your toes, lengthen through your legs, breathe everything out. Now inhale, stretch your right leg to the sky again. Three-legged dog. Exhale, step your right foot forward between your thumbs, lower your left knee down onto the mat. One breath in, low lunge, arms up overhead. Exhale, place your hands on the floor. Step your left foot forward to the top of your mat. Bind your hands behind your back. Relax your head down. Let the knuckles come up and over. With and then inhale as you rise up to standing with bent knees. Arms travel forward and then up overhead. Arms wide as you swan dive back down, folding forward, Uttanasana. Working our way towards the other side. First, extend your spine, halfway rise. Exhale, step your left foot back. Lower your left knee down on your mat. Use one breath in to sweep your arms forward and up, overhead. Exhale, hands to the earth. Bring your right knee back alongside your left knee. Inhale to shift your shoulders forward over your wrists. Exhale, modified chaturanga. Keep the knees on the floor as you lower down. Hips stay grounded in baby cobra. Lift your chest. Now press back onto the knees and then tuck your toes. You can lengthen through your legs. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, lift the left leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, step your left foot between your thumbs. Bring your right knee to the ground. Inhale, arms up over your head, low lunge. Exhale, hands to the mat. Keep breathing out as you step your right foot forward and bind your hands behind your back. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, swoop your arms towards the floor, then forward, and then all the way up as you rise to stand. Exhale, folding forward, arms go wide all the way down. Similar pattern. Find that halfway rise on the in-breath, shoulders back, ribs in. Exhale, hands to the mat, step your right foot back. This time keep your right knee off the floor, high lunge. Arms can go wide up over your head, just one breath in. Exhale, touch the ground, step back to plank pose, and pause at the high plank for a deep inhale. Now you could do modified chaturanga or the full chaturanga, squeezing your knees as you lower, bending your elbows about 90 degrees. Upward facing dog, if that feels all right in your spine, hover the thighs. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, step your foot forward between your thumbs. Keep that back knee lifted as you rise up, high lunge. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Breathe out. Reach your hands towards the floor. Step forward with your left foot. Folding forward, interlace your hands behind your back. Drop your crown. Inhale, swoop your palms through the floor. Forward and then up overhead. Lengthen through your legs. Last side. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, halfway rise. Left foot steps back. Keep the left knee strong as you rise up. Feel that left glute firing to support you. Exhale, touch the earth. Step it back, high plank pose. Take a deep breath at the top, turn on the legs. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, upward dog. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward dog. Left leg lifts, breathe. Exhale, step it through. One more, high lunge, arms rise. Exhale, touch the floor, step right foot forward, fold, interlace your hands behind your back. Coming through, standing all the way up, arms overhead. This time, relax your arms by your sides, pause, close your eyes. Feel that energy surging through you, the prana, the life force energy. All that stirring becomes still. Take one more breath. Exhale. Now bring your big toes together. Keep your heels separated so you have an internal rotation. Then come into chair pose. Sit your hips low. Reach your hands forward or up by your ears. 
Lengthen your tailbone, lift the front of your waistband. Move your hips farther back, bend your knees farther forward. Now bring your hands a little longer. Exhale, bring your hands into your heart. Take a breath in. Then twist to your right. Hook your left elbow outside your right thigh. Push your right hand firmly into your left hand. Look up towards the sky. Lift your heart up towards your thumbs. Roll your shoulders back. Pull the left hip back. And then feel that exhale happening in your belly button. Breathe out, breathe out, breathe out. Now keep the twist. Just look down with your eyes. Keep your knees pinned together and slowly stand on your right foot and draw your left heel towards your seat. Keep the knees pinned together, use those inner thighs, and slowly extend your left leg behind you for a lunge, keeping the twist in your spine. And stay with your eyes looking down or turn the eyes back up towards the sky. Strong in the back leg, fire up the glute. It's a huge muscle, let it help you. One more breath. And then looking down, spiral open to warrior two. Spiral open to your left, leading by the left hand, followed by the right. Open your arms wide. Deep in the right knee, exhaling. Inhale, lengthen your right leg. Bring your hands up over your head. Option to flex your right ankle so your toes lift. Exhale, coming back, warrior two. Bend the right knee, arms fly wide to a T. Inhale, rise up, arms overhead. Lengthen the right leg and lift the toes. Exhale, get low. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, one more of those. Warrior two. Inhale, reach up. Lengthen your right leg. And exhale, coming back. Warrior two, pause here. Look beyond your right fingertips. Deep in the right knee, maybe. Reverse your warrior. Lift your right arm up towards the ceiling. Now we did that tricep stretch before. You can mash that here. Maybe even create the bind that we would do in Gomukhasana with your left hand coming up your spine. You could also use a towel. Hold on to the towel with your right hand and grab it with the left. And maybe that's your variation as you lean back. Stay steady in the legs. Inhale as you rise up. Unwind your bind. Find your version of side angle pose. Right elbow towards your thigh. Left hand towards the sky, or right hand towards the earth. Getting low in the hips, maybe the left arm extends long by the ear. Three more. Two. Last one. Now place your left hand on your left hip. Gaze down towards the ground. Walk your right hand forward. If you have a block, you could bring it with you. Coming into half moon. Slide your left toes up your mat. Lift your left foot off your mat. Keep your left chin on your hip. Feel your left hip stack over your right hip as you push down with your right big toe. Lengthen your tail. Turn on your quads with a little bend in your knees. And then maybe the left arm lifts. Or add the bind, like when we did in the modified side plank. Reach your left hand for your left foot. Long tail ribs in. Maybe the eyes turn up towards the sky. Keep rounding your right big toe, big toe, big toe. Stays on the floor. One more. Unwind the bind if you're in it, breathe in. And then we'll step forward with the left foot. Have a little bend in your right knee as you do that. Take a few breaths here. You can grab opposite elbows, sway side to side if you like. One more breath. Relax your arms down. Keep the feet hips width apart or two fists distance. Round your spine as you roll up to standing. We'll take a standing back bend when you arrive. Shrug your shoulders down and back. Take your hands to your lower back. Lean your hips forward. Breathe into the front of your hip flexors. One more full breath. Magnetize your elbows together behind you. Inhale, lift your chest. Take your arms by your sides. Lengthen your tailbone towards the earth. And start to heel toe the feet together so your big toes touch. Exhale. Inhale, chair pose. Bend your knees. Arms travel forward or up by your ears. 
Shift more weight back into your heels. Move your hips back. Bend your knees a little deeper. Lengthen your tailbone towards the floor. Turn on the low abs. Breathe in from hips to fingertips. Exhale, hands to the heart. Take a breath in. Twist to your left. Hook your right elbow outside your left thigh. Now you can also put your right elbow between your two thighs. Either way, try to press your left hand into your right hand, getting your palms to heart center. Pull your right knee back, your right hip back. Pull your belly towards your spine by exhaling deeply. And then use that space to twist. One more breath here. Now keep the twist. Just look down with your eyes. Watch your knees stay together. Spread out your left toes. And then slowly pull your right heel towards your seat. Use that right hamstring for three. Two, equal and opposite force, pressing into that left knee. And then slowly stretch your right toes back behind you. Keep the twist. You're more than welcome to lower your back knee on the floor for more support, even if it's just to get a better connection with your butt. If your back knee's lifted, turn on that quad and the glute. Pull the left hip back, lean back, look up. Three, two, one. Gazing towards the ground, go slow as you spiral up and open, warrior two. Turn your chest to the right. Ground your right heel so it's parallel to the edge of your mat. Deepen the left knee, exhaling. Inhale, lengthen through your left leg, bring your fingertips up over your head and lift your left toes so you're on the heel. Again, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, arms rise, lengthen your left leg, lift your toes. Exhale, get low. Two more of those, inhale, rise. Keep your ribs stacked over your hips the whole time. Warrior two, exhale. Last one, inhale to lift. Exhale, lower and stay right there. Fill the vessel with breath. Now reverse your warrior, lift your left arm up. Option to take your left hand to your upper back, grabbing onto that elbow or creating the Ganesha grip. Your right hand slides up your spine, your fingers hook like two elephant trunks. And then you can stay like that as you lean back. You can also use a towel to help connect your hands or hold onto your shirt. Keep the left knee over the ankle. Keep pushing it open towards the pinky side of your foot. One more breath. Inhale, coming up through warrior two, untangle your arms. Exhale, side angle variation of your choice. Left forearm to the thigh, right hand by your ear. Gradually move into whatever version you explored before. Feel the power of your right leg. Fire up the quad and the glute. Three more breaths. Two. Last breath in. Exhale, right hand to your right hip. Look down at the ground. Walk your left hand forward. You can bring your block with you. And then slide the right foot up the mat. Lift the right foot off the mat. You can even take your right arm alongside your body like we did in that modified side plank. Feel the alignment from your right thigh to your hip. Turning those right toes in just a little bit. Lengthen your tail towards your floating foot. Squeeze through your legs, and then maybe the right arm lifts. Or maybe the right hand catches the right foot. Rounding into the left big toe, find your version of the pose. Maybe the eyes turn to the sky. Big toe roots for three, two, one. Unwind the bind as you breathe in. Step the right foot forward, bending both knees, grabbing opposite elbows or any variation as you sway. Soften, breathe for three. <sighs> Inhale, extend halfway up, breathe. Exhale, hands to the mat, step or float your feet back, plank to chaturanga on the exhale, squeeze your knees. Inhale through upward facing dog. Exhale downward dog. You can also choose child's pose. We'll take five breaths wherever you are. And that breath. Let it be 
give you energy, vitality, and it give you life. Very nice. Come forward into a plank pose. Inhale, shoulders over the wrists. Organize your bones. Take a deep breath in. Five counts to lower to the ground. Exhale, roll your shoulders back and down. Five, hug your elbows in. Four, lengthen your tail. Three, squeeze your knees. Two, hover and land. Slide your hands back so they're by your sides. Have your palms facing up so your fingernails can feel the floor just like your toenails. Widen through your heels, lengthen through your tail, breathe everything out, and then start to lift your head, then your chest, then your arms, and then your legs. Locust pose. Breathe into the ribs. Breathe out till you feel the abdominals turn on, and push them into the ground as you rise a little higher. Lengthening through your tail, exhale. Press through your toes, hug them to the midline. One more. Hey, Jocelyn. Awesome, relax your right ear to the floor. Hmm. Refill your cup. Take a few breaths to build your energy back. Work hard, rest hard. And then work hard again. When you're ready, bend your knees, reach back for your feet, or repeat the pose you just did. Same rules apply. Narrow through the knees, lengthen through the tail, forehead to the floor, exhale. Breathe in to rise. Keep narrow through your shoulder blades, through your knees, and then kick the feet back and up as you breathe. Two more deep breaths, you've got this. One more big kick. Awesome, relax, turn the other cheek towards the mat. Come into child's pose whenever you're ready. Place your hands under your shoulders. Guide your hips back onto your heels. Relax your head down and take a few breaths into your back body. I invite you to take your forearms as wide as your mat. Give your shoulders a little more space. Straight them back. on the floor. I'll set up for dolphin pose. So have your elbows on the ground, shoulder distance apart. You can crisscross your hands and hold on to the opposite bicep and that should give you that shoulder distance. Spread out your fingers, grip into the mat, tuck your toes under and then lift your knees up. And see if you can walk your toes a little bit closer to your elbows. Relax your head between your arms. Press your chest back towards your thighs. Open up through the shoulders. This is for you, Tanya. Take a few more breaths. Awesome. Now, simultaneously push down with your hands. Lift your elbows at the same time off the ground. Downward dog. You nice. Inhale, lift your heels. Look up at your hands. Exhale, bend your knees. Walk, hop, or gain. Handstand to the top. Halfway lift when you get there. Big toes touch. Hold back in. Breathe out. Chair pose. Bend your knees. Curl your tailbone towards the ground. Hands travel forward or up by the ears. Sit a little deeper. Back and down. And inhale coming all the way up. Relax for a moment. 
Scott and Tina, you can't hear me? I mean, no. Stand in mountain pose just for a few more breaths. I'm just gonna double check. I'm not sure why. Okay, thanks for that heads up. All right, let's set up for eagle next. So follow my lead, feet together, inhale, arms lift. Start with your left arm underneath your right arm, and then you could hug your shoulders or spiral your forearms. Now elevate your elbows so they line up with your shoulders, and then shrug your shoulders back. Bend your knees, sit a little deeper, curl your tailbone towards the floor, and then standing on your right foot, lift your left thigh, cross left thigh over right. Swivel your toes behind your right calf, you've got that. Squeeze and sink, train those inner thighs. Now we're gonna bring it in, elbows towards the knees, sleeping eagle. Now keep your chest leaning forward, keep your arms in your bind. Just start to unwrap your left thigh for warrior three. Extend your left leg back behind you, reach your bound hands in front of you, and get a little deeper into that right knee, so a variation of warrior three. Keep the arms bound, turn the left toes in towards the ground, one more breath. And then warrior one, put your left foot on the floor at 45 degrees, lift your chest, and then unwrap your arms, lift them up over your head. Bring your shoulders down on your back. Take a breath in. Exhale, wrap your hands behind your back. Find your interlaced hands or that towel. Extend through your arms, open up through your heart. And with humility, bow forward into humble warrior. Right shoulder towards the right thigh. Relax your head down and look back at your left leg. Do you see a straight line from your heel to your hip? Awesome. Then pull that right hip crease back. Pretend your right heel can pull the floor back. One more breath. Awesome. Take your left hands to the floor and come into side plank. So the left foot pivots to the outer edge, right foot stacks on top, or you can pick up that right big toe and reach it for the ceiling. Shoulders squeeze strong in your left knee for three, for two. One more breath and we're coming into wild thing. Hover the right foot off the left foot. Step your right foot back behind you. Send your left shoulder blade farther down your back body as you turn your heart up towards the sky, and then the right arm might reach forward. Now as you flip back around, place your right foot forward by your right pinky finger. So right hand lands, coming into lizard pose. Right foot outside the right hand, lower the left knee to the floor. Relax your shoulders down your back, lift through your chest. I invite you to bring your elbows down onto your block or onto your mat or pillow. Feel free to let your right toes and knee turn open about 45 degrees. And then let the head relax down. If you're craving a quad stretch, another one. You can reach your right hand back for left foot. Take three more breaths. Let your foot go, it's in your hand. Walk back up onto your palms, move your block aside. And keep that right foot outside your right hand and match it with the left. Lift the back knee, step the left foot outside the left hand, malasana, yogi squat. And just take a few breaths here, see if you can notice the difference between your two hips. Just press your knees into your elbows, pull your thumbs into your heart, squeeze your shoulder blades together on your back, lengthen your tailbone towards your mat. Exhale. Release your hands down. Lengthen your legs. Turn your toes in. Holding forward. Exhale. Inhale. Extend halfway up. Heel toe the feet together. Keep your spine halfway up. Bring your hands to your hips. Strong spine. Elbows towards the sky. Inhale to rise up the rest of the way. Relax your arms down by your sides. Breathe everything out. 
Inhale, fly your palms wide to the sky, all the way over your head. Exhale, weave your right arm underneath your left arm. Hug your shoulders or spiral your forearms. Hold onto that thumb pad. Elevate your elbows, shrug your shoulders back, and deepen the knees, sitting low into your chair pose. Staying like that, or shift the weight onto your right foot. Wrap your left thigh over your right thigh. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm wrong. You're supposed to stand on your left foot. <laughs> so shift the weight over to your left foot, right thigh over your left thigh. Squeeze your inner thighs, lengthen your tail, get low. Check again, make sure you're standing on your left foot, then we'll take the elbows in to meet the knees, sleeping eagle. Now, try to maintain the activation of your inner thighs as you unwrap your right thigh and press your right leg back behind you. Extending through the ball mount of your right foot, spin your inner right thigh up. You're still squeezing to the midline with both legs. Just keep squeeze through the hands and fix your fingernails forward. Take one more breath. And then place the right foot on the floor at 45 degrees. Warrior one, lift your chest. Unwrap your arms, free them up overhead. Stay for the out breath, deepen the left knee over the ankle. One more breath in. Hands behind your back, place your fingers, use your strap or your towel, extend through your arms, expand through your heart, look up. Hubble warrior, exhale, left shoulder on top of the thigh, or maybe inside of the thigh. Let your head hang. Keep that deep bend in your left knee so you have a shelf to rest your shoulder on. Strong in that back leg. Scissor hug the sits bones towards one another. Heel the left heel, pulling the floor down and back. And release your right hand to the floor for side plank. Now you can take the right knee to the floor like we did in the beginning with the left foot back, or stack your feet. Or you can grab that left big toe from the beginning and send, ex extend your left leg towards the ceiling. Shoulders pinch, knees squeeze, tailbone long. Look up at that left thumb for three. Lift your hips, lift your ribs, two. Now hover the left leg and step it behind you, wild thing. Turn your chest towards the sky. Roll your right shoulder down your back. Reach long through your left arm. Coming into the lizard pose. When you flip around, left hand on the ground, left foot forward by the left pinky finger. Right knee down also known as runner's lunge. Shoulders shrug back, and then maybe the elbows come down onto the back. Quad stretch, if you did that on the other side, let your left hand travel back for your right foot. All right, homies, let your foot go. Take your hands to the mat inside of your ankle. Just like last time, you're going to make the right foot match the left. So lift the back knee, step the right foot forward, yogi squat, malasana, hands to heart. Now, if you're working on your arm balances while you're in quarantine, now's your chance. Coming into crow pose from here. So I'm going to demonstrate with a block. So if you're kind of new to this, you can do it without leaving the floor with your feet. So I'm gonna take my hands to the ground, shoulder distance apart, and I'm gonna put my toes on my block, and I'm gonna make my big toes touch. Open the knees, bring your hips all the way down towards your heels, and then keep the heels and the big toes together. Now snuggle your triceps in so they make contact with your shins. Squeeze the knees into the shoulders, the elbows hug in as well, and then lean forward. Keep your toes on the block, just press your toes into the block, and do your best to stack your elbows over your wrists. Now to resist that downward pull of gravity, squeeze in with the elbows, in with the knees, and round your upper back like cat pose. And then you can explore lifting one heel towards your seat, or the other, or keep the feet together as you bring both heels towards the seat for three, two. Now if you're in your crow, go ahead, do your shoot back, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, but then jump your feet through and meet me in a seat. If you're in this version, 
Bring your feet to the floor. Bring your butt to the floor. Extend your legs out in front of you. This is where we'll meet. Just lean back for a moment. Let your feet sway side to side. We'll take it to a forward fold when you're ready. A little bend in the knees is fine. Just get your sitting bones on the ground. Arms up, breathe in. Fold forward, breathe out. From tail to crown, grow a little longer. Exhale, soften a little deeper. Your hamstrings help you do that crow pose. So we'll give it two more breaths. Start to roll yourself back up. Take your hands behind you. Shift more weight into your hands. Pull your shoulder blades together. Your elbows hug in. And then start to bend your knees. Place your feet on the floor. And then lift your feet, coming into boat pose. Hands can stay where they are for more support or reach your hands forward. Big toes touch. The big toe and where they become the foot, that knuckle. Squeeze them together. And then lengthen your legs. Breathe in. Squeeze the big toes together. Exhale. Feel the shoulders pinch on your back. Breathe in. And then slowly make it a low boat so your lower back comes to the floor, but your hands keep reaching forward towards your toes for now. And as you see your toes touch that same internal rotation, push your feet into one another. So it feels like one leg is holding up the other leg. And then extend your arms up by your ears. Imagine you're doing handstand. Press from hands to toes. Maybe get a little closer towards the earth. Shaking's okay. I'm shaking too. Give it three more breaths. Last two. Last one. Awesome. Then relax everything down. Close your eyes. Just take a few big belly breaths. Inhaling through your nose. Then exhaling out of your mouth. We're not done yet. Just stretch your abdominals from the inside out. And we'll hit a bridge pose. Bend your knees, place your feet on the floor, arms by your sides. You did a lot for the shoulders, so you're primed and ready for this. You did some twists. You're good. Just breathe everything out, release any expectations. And on your breath in, lift your hips up off the ground. Interlace your hands behind your back. Snuggle your shoulder blades underneath your torso. Ground through the elbows, lift through the hips, lengthen through the tail. Now narrow your knees and try to push the floor forward with your feet. Lift your chin away from your chest. Feel your big toes pushing down. Hug the knees towards the midline. And then stay like this for another five breaths or build your bridge into a wheel. Release your hands, take them by your ears, fingers pointing towards your shoulders, and then come up to the crown of your head and your tippy toes. Scoop your shoulders back, narrow your knees and your elbows, and lengthen your arms, lengthen your legs. Maybe the heels come back onto the floor. Three more breaths. Then come on down, chin to chest if you're in wheel pose. Release your interlaced hands if you're in bridge. Once you land, heel toe your feet apart so they're as wide as your mat. And then let your knees sway side to side, right and left. Just a gentle twist to release the low back. Stay like that. A few more breaths. Hug your knees into your chest, wrap your arms around your shins. Keep that right knee in your arms, lengthen your left leg long. Guide your right knee over towards your right armpit so you can bypass your rib cage and compress your right hip crease. Then move your right ankle a little circle. Come into a twist with your right knee across your chest over to the left. your right arm open to the right and turn your chin to the right.
As you roll back onto your spine, crisscross your right ankle over your left thigh, bend the left knee, hold onto the back of your left thigh with your hands for a figure four hip stretch. Now pull your legs in towards your chest with the help of your arms. Press your right elbow into your right knee. Press your head into the floor. Roll your shoulders back. And then add a little arch in your lumbar spine, your low back. If you want to give your left hamstring a stretch as well, you can try to lengthen through the left leg and hold on to that foot with your left hand. Turn on the quad though, that left quad. Now keep your hands laced behind your left thigh. Uncross your right ankle. Stretch your right leg long all the way down your mat. And then reposition your left, your hands on top of your left shin. Guide your left knee towards your armpit. Take a few breaths. Then we twist. Left knee goes across the chest to the right. Left arm open to the left. Feel free to close your eyes. your way back to center, crisscross left ankle over right thigh, figure four. Placing your hands behind your right thigh, hug your legs in, press your elbow into your knee, trace your spine along the earth. Find symmetry in your shoulders and your hips. Now with your left hand, hold onto your left foot. Open up that left leg for happy baby and then match it with the right. Hold down on your heels. Get your knees closer to the floor on either side of your ribs. Press your head into the ground, scoop your shoulders back. Root through the sacrum. Now reposition your hands onto your ankles. Bring your feet together so the soles touch. Hold onto the outer edges of your feet. Press the knees away from you energetically. Keep pulling the heels in towards the pubic bone. Head stays grounded for now. And then lift your head off the ground. Bring your toes towards your nose, round through the spine. Keep your feet together and your knees wide. Rest your legs down on the ground. Take your hands to the low belly, your emotional center. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Feel your belly expand. Open your mouth, let it go. Do two more of those, inhaling into the belly. Exhaling, empty the belly. One more, fill your vessel with breath, with energy, with prana. Let it go. Now you're more than welcome to stay in this pose or extend your arms long by your sides, palms facing up. Extend your legs long as well if you like. Shavasana, corpse pose, final rest, however you want to take it. For those of you who tuned in on Instagram, it's going to cut off in 25 seconds. So I want to say thank you for joining me. And those of you who asked, I do have a Venmo by the same name, Ariel on Yoga. I hope to see you again tomorrow at noon. And stay in your Shavasana as long as you can. Fill up your energy. Fuel up your body, your mind. Love you too. Thank you. Bye. Those of you on Facebook, you can hang out with me a little longer.
there's anything else you can let go of in your jaw, the space between your eyebrows, or the back of your neck. out for the mind, which loves to complicate things. Let it focus on the breath, your intention. For the mantra, let go. Letting go is such a big part of our healing. Easier said than done, sometimes. Which is why repeating the mantra in your mind can be so helpful. And in essence, it doesn't necessarily matter what you let go of. Whether it's letting go of your ex of the muscles in your jaw, or the content in your head. Eventually we learn to let go of our need to know how everything gets figured out. We let go of our need to understand what's happening out there in the world. And instead we just take each change as it comes, fully present and aware. So we can choose to respond with compassion rather than let our fears dictate our actions. Letting go of our attachment to life go of our attachment to ourself because you are so much more than this physical version of you. You are energy. You will live on for all eternity in that form. For this lifetime you chose to come here into this body and experience this unprecedented experience. So can you do it with courage and curiosity? That's it. An open mind, an open heart. Shavasana as long as you like. When it's time to reawaken, start with the breath. Deeper and deeper rounds. Knowing this breath is all you need to feel complete, to feel alive. 
can be selfish with it. Take as much of it as you like. But know the more you exhale, the more space you create. So give and get. Spark energy into your hands. Wake up your fingers with gratitude. Wake up your toes, thankful for all 10 of them. And like a good morning stretch, reach your arms up over your head, grateful for this vessel, bones wrapped in muscles, tendons, and skin. My, how it has changed in this last hour, in this lifetime. And as you roll to one side, cradle yourself and your humanity for a few breaths. Accept yourself for who you are. Even if, as humans, we are vulnerable and susceptible to disease or illness, only when we accept that then can we make the change we need to find health, sanity. And exhale. Now going slow, rise into your seat, mindfully arriving with hands at heart center. Bowing inwards, finish your practice with a moment of gratitude. I don't know about you, but it makes my eyes water and my heart swell just to think of how we've come together even from afar. I'm grateful for you, and I know the world needs more of that gratitude, so please send that energy out there, the love in your heart. Take one more breath in. Exhale. Thank you for joining me on this midday stretch. The light in me honors the divine light within you. Namaste. Have a lovely rest of your day. Love to hear from you. Or maybe send me a picture of what your online or your home studio looks like. I miss you all. See you on the other side, or tomorrow at noon.